I'm Gordon. I'm Gordon. I'm Gordon. I'm gonna eat it. I mean, I'm Gordon, and today I'm gonna eat pizza. Just about my favorite thing to do: eating some pizza. Oh, seems like it's been a while. My belly is aching for pizza right now. It is just going crazy. There's pizza sitting in front of me and I'm not eating it. I'm talking to you guys. It's going nuts. So I went to Pie Oh My in Fenton, Missouri. And what did I get? Well, I got a salad because you know, you gotta eat a little bit of salad before you eat your pizza so you don't eat too much pizza. And you know what? That side salad looks really good. Really good. I'm surprised. It's just a side salad, but man, it looks good. For a pizza, I got a thin crust, 16 inch pizza with red sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperonis, sausage, and onions on it. Cause that's kind of what I like. Now the reason I said red sauce is because when you order your pizza, especially doing it like I did, you know, or build your own pizza, your options, you have three options. Uh, Red sauce, ranch, and <laughs> I've already forgotten the third one. The third one. Right there. So this pizza looks amazing. You are probably already looking at it right now. And honestly, it's a, it looks really good. It's a thin crust pizza. You can get it with Provel cheese on it, uh, as in St. Louis style. You can get it with a mixed Provel and mozzarella. But, I, you know, I do like to eat a Provel pizza once in a while. I try to get those from the established mom and pop places that have been around forever. And this one, the, I love mozzarella on a thin crust pizza. I, I'm, I think that's like the best thing ever. So, I'm so hungry. Let's eat. The corner piece, because that's what you got to start with. Some people might say this is a little too done. It's a little, a little charred on the side there. And, you know, the cheese is, there's no cheese pull here, and that's my fault. Uh, we were doing errands, and Fenton is a fair distance from where I live, and I did bring the pizza home because we were doing errands. We had groceries in the car. We had to unload the groceries before I could eat the pizza. But that cheese pull looks really fantastic on video. But all that means is, is that the sauce under the cheese is still boiling hot. And when you eat it, you're gonna lose some skin on the roof of your mouth. I don't mind my pizza being a little bit cooled off. So there you go. This is okay for me. I don't care that the cheese isn't, can't pull off there. But look at that, doesn't that look good? And even though it's a little, little dark on the corner, but look at that, that's really, that's a nice looking pizza. And it look, it holds itself up like it's supposed to, like a thin crust. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, man. First bite. Mm. <laughs> that big piece of sausage. Oh, the crust. The crust is like a buttery cracker, layered cracker. Oh, this is this is so good. Mm. Mm. This is a most excellent thin crust mozzarella cheese pizza. Oh, this is so good. You can probably hear it crunch. Let me bite. Ready? Mm. Mm. That is so good. That one bite of pizza. One bite of pizza and I'm already I'm in heaven. Mm. Now the only bad thing with a thin crust pizza like this is you can eat a lot of pizza. I mean a lot of pizza. This is a 16 inch pizza. I'm a glutton and I could probably eat the whole thing and not even think twice about it. Don't get me wrong, I would be totally stuffed and feeling pretty bad an hour after I ate this, but I could do it. It's just so, so good. 
to me, it's the perfect temperature right now. So it's not super hot, it's not cold, it's still got warm, and the cheese is still kind of gooey and soft. Oh, so good. So let's take a look at this salad, have a little bite of salad before I go back to eating pizza. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I love pizza? This side salad has tomatoes, mixed greens, looks like romaine lettuce and some other stuff. It's got olives. It's got a big uh, pepperoni pepper in it. It's got um, grated Parmesan cheese and it's got pepperonis in it, sliced up pepperonis. And I got the house dressing. You can probably see that in the pictures. I'll do that picture here, right here. There, wasn't that great? That house uh, salad dressing is a, it's a darker color than you would think. It's a, I guess it's an Italian dressing. Oh, we're gonna find out. Put a little bit on my fork. Mmm. <laughs> that house dressing, I'm, I'm, I'm tasting all kinds of stuff here. It's a very, got a very um, vinegar base to it. I want to say there's mustard in it. It's really good. I don't know. I didn't, I just said house dressing. I didn't look at anything else on it. Wow. It's got a little tang to it. I don't know what it is. I think my brain is saying it's got some mustard in it, but I can't be for sure. It's a little yellow. The dressing's kind of yellow, so maybe there's some mustard. All right, the salad. I want to see if I can show this to you or not. There you go. Tomatoes, olives, pepperonis, pepperonis, the lettuce. I'm going to put a little bit of dressing in it, and we'll have a little bite here. The dressing is not very thick. It's pretty, pretty loose. This is a fully involved bite of salad here. There you go. That's a fully involved bite of salad. There's dressing, there's pepperoni, black olives, lettuce, and Parmesan cheese all over that. Let's have a bite. Bite. Mm. That's a pretty good salad. You know, I always like to try the house dressing people make. I'm assuming they make this, I don't know for sure, but it's very different from what I've had other places. It's, it's, it's something, I would say something very much their own. It is, it's really good. And this side salad was really not expensive at all. $3.50 or something like that. And again, it's got a fair bit of stuff in it. You know, that's, that's a, you could, a salad like this, you could make a meal out of it. They make a bigger one too. And it's got the same, I think they have a house salad, which is the same thing, but it's just probably bigger. Um, but man, this is, this is really good. What else should I tell you? Pai oh Mai in Fenton, south of 44, uh, just just a little way south of 44 on the east side of uh, 141. It's been there a year or so, um, at least a year, maybe a little longer. Um, from their website, it looks like the owners have been in the restaurant business for a long time, but pizza is new to them. This is their first pizza place. And you know what? First impressions, it's pretty damn good. Definitely, I would go there again. It's a little bit out of the way for me, but man, it was worth the trip. Let's just do one more piece of pizza, show you guys, and then I am gonna turn you off and eat some pizza. I'm gonna be a little pig. All right, ready? Let's get like a bigger piece. This is still a edge piece, if you will. No, this is a pretty big piece too. This is a this is an edge. It's still got the edge on it, but it's a square. Let's get her in a focus there. It's an edge piece with a, and the edge is a little a little toasty, but that's okay. It just it's good though. You can see that corner there at the bottom. Let's get it up here where you can see the whole bottom. There you go. Now this piece is bigger. It wants to droop a little bit, but it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. There's a lot of cheese and toppings on this piece. Big bite, big onion, pepperoni. Oh, and the other thing, the pepperonis, the pepperonis are like, they're huge. They're like five, six inches across. That's a huge pepperoni. I don't know. Mm. 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 It is absolutely a great pizza. That's all I can tell you. Pai oh my and Fenton, you gotta give it a try. So it's definitely worth it. 
they have hand tossed pizzas and then they also have the thin crust and you can get the thin crust St. Louis style Provel cheese. If they're hand tossed pizzas are as good as this is, how can you go wrong? You can satisfy everybody. If your family, if your family is all divided on pizza, you got it made there. Get a hand tossed. Get a thin crust St. Louis style. Get a thin crust with some mozzarella cheese on it. And they even have gluten free crust if you're into that kind of thing. Man, that's good though. And the salad too. All right. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I gotta eat this pizza. You see my little guy here? He's what keeps me going. Keeps me going. Chasing that pizza. That's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Tune in again real soon when I make questionable eating decisions, but you know, they're gonna be tasty. That's right. Like this pizza, tasty. If you like this video, found it entertaining, useful in some fashion, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate it. And right there, you see it right there. Click on that little guy and subscribe to my channel. Can I do it? Just, just do it. You'll find more videos of me eating tasty pizza, I'm sure. And though, look, there's another video right there. Probably me eating pizza. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in again real soon.